Hello all traders. Today is Friday, 4th of October 2024 and we're going to look at the trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the price started to go up during the Asian and London global session. And if we look at the 10 minute micro chart, we see that after New York market opening, the price has started to go down and is now lost all pre-market gains. So our plan of action is to wait for the price to complete this pullback because it's close to the support level and we see reaction of price to this support level and we wait till the sellers lose momentum and the buyers come back and then take long positions starting with setup B, C and T repeatedly in a well-established uptrend. So stay tuned and we're going to update you with any trades that we're going to take today. So we're back and we had a couple of trades uh, when there was a setup B and C and we see a well established uptrend now and I started recording now and as you see we're waiting now in this well established uptrend to take any pullbacks with setup T and set the positions on a NASDAQ that is more trendy Dow Jones is still in a setup C area and also S&P 500 seems just broke the setup C and it started the first wave of uptrend channel and now our order was filled on NASDAQ and we close it with profit. The position on Dow Jones and S&P 500 is not going very well and the buyers are not as strong it still is in set up C area so I'm gonna close it when I see some retracement back to the entry level I'm ready to take more long positions on Nasdaq in the lower area of the channel and close it in the middle uh, now the buyers are coming back on Dow Jones and S&P 500 and I'm gonna close them till I see very strong momentum of buyers now I enter one position on Dow Jones and close it for a small profit so we now set the limit orders on all eminis and waiting for deeper pullback on Nasdaq because it's at the resistance area and it's dangerous to enter now till it's clear this area so again I entered in the lower area and close it in the middle because I'm looking for a small profit at this area that is close to the previous day high. The S&P 500 position was filled, but the buyers are not so strong. The Nasdaq position was filled and it has a deeper pullback, so the second position was filled and I just closed it in the middle. The S&P position was not going well, so I closed it at break even. And that's enough for today and let's look at the stats from all these signals that were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts. And you see the performance on this account which was positive showing the profit factor of 5.43 which is coming from 70% win rate all from the long positions taken and the average win to loss ratio of 2.33. The largest winning trade was 260 and the largest losing trade was $129. So hope all these trades taken by the PATH system for fast scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and also weekend.